What's up, what's up? Got a casty cast for you guys. Gonna do this one during the Bears game. It's halftime. So I'm gonna do, I think I got time for two games. And I just saw that some good players just played some SCW games. So I figured I'd, I'd cast them. Uh, I think I just have time for two though. So we got Game Toss on the Terran here. He's been on my channel before. He is really, really good. And I want to say he is with Legend Carol, or Carlos, who is on the Protoss. So we got Protoss, Terran, and then you got Day, and Splitter Gale. And Splitter Gale is on the Zerg, and Day is on the Protoss. Looks like he's going to go with that double gateway in the middle unless he gets a forge here and they're both gonna choke yeah double gateway in the middle and game toss looks like he switched up what he was going with maybe not so going with two barracks here and we got three gateways for Carlos here so I don't I don't know if I've had Carlos on my channel or not Here's your scout on Splitter Gale, and it's not going to let me change the, the colors. It makes them all yellow for some reason. I think it's when there's observers or something in the game. But, yeah, it kind of sucks. So it looks like they might try to do a cannon rush, or maybe put a battery here, a shield battery, and try to rush Splitter Gale. Splitter Gale going to save up three larva for six zerglings. Going to pull two of his drones, and... Yeah, Splitter Girl has a really, really good Zerg in twos, and then uh, Game Toss has a really good Terran in twos, and I know Day has a good Protoss, so it'll be interesting. Here comes a Zelly coming in already, and you got three probes really harassing this, trying to get one of these guys to get one of these probes off, and Carlos is doing a really good job delaying these uh, creep colonies here so here is two creep colonies though that came down and you're gonna have eight zerglings to help out but there is two zealots up in here these are gonna go right into sunkins got a zealot to help out and with these zerglings that's gonna really help a lot a couple rind sauces in here here's a scout and trying to get in here but now that the sunkins have finished it looks like Splittergale is going to be okay. And they put a probe inside of his partner's base. Uh, so we'll see if he maybe starts building a couple cannons or something like that. He's got his own choke. Here comes some Zerglings. Going to try to harass Carlos, I'm going to assume here. Send these guys in. And going to go after the probe adobes. So, I mean, I think these teams are pretty fair. Um... And Western plays Protoss random versus Protoss random. So, going to take out a... Ooh, almost got that, but seeing the opening for the probes. Going to take out one probe. Take out two probes. Going to make them spread two. It might get a third probe. Nice job there by Splitter Gale. Making Carlos have to spread his probes. That's huge. And Game Toss still just with three barracks. Let's see if he's... Got some rhines here. Looks like they're gonna box in the Protoss, or might they might just go for the attack here. But this is a lot of cannons here. Three plus at least five or six zealots for day. Here is a cannon right here, or a pylon right here. And yeah, going to block in day here. Here's your extra command center for game toss. He might even go for another one. We'll see. He's got a factory on the way, getting stim. And we'll see what Carlos goes with. It looks like a super fast lair for Splitter Gale. And Day looks like he might be going with some form of drops. He's got enough money to get an extra uh -uh, Nexus, but uh, he might just build some more cannons here. Or he might build some cannons for his partner. So Splitter Gale just playing off of one, uh, one extra hatchery. Don't really count that as a, hatch, uh, a ma macro hatchery. Second factory coming down. And looks like another command center is going to get made. So triple command center for game toss. Here is the complete box in. 
And... Yeah, Day gonna start building cannons for his partner. Some drop defense. No gas at the moment for Carlos. Looks like they're going with an all-out mass here. Gonna have to build some more. Here's a stim. Gonna have to build some more sunkins. And... This is gonna be tough on Splitter Gale here. He's gonna... He's Day building some cannons for his partner. Trying to get all of the Rhinies in here. And I think if they bust this, they might just run on through if they want to. Game Toss going to try to take out this Sunken right here. Three Sunkens right here left. That one's gone. Trying to build, but these cannons are going to save the day. So good job there by Day building these in here. Might take out both of these Sunkens and even maybe get that third Sunken. But these cannons are really, really going to save the day. And now it looks like Splitter Gale and... They are going to be ahead, so, um, because, well, uh, actually, Game Toss did go for that triple. He's got two extra command centers. Looks like he's, he's building up pretty fast here. He's got a starport, another starport on the way. They are going to try to take out probably this hatchery, if they can. Extra Nexus here, but I think Day already has his up. Yeah, so he already has his up, and he also has a shuttle. Going to be probably trying to drop in some a couple scans. Can't tell where that scan came from, but um, yeah, I think I like the strategy from Day. I think Day's going to pick up some of his zealots, try to drop in here, and then also Splitter's going with Muta, so Muta, uh, so Splitter can go after some of the Probados. And there's actually no cannons around the main for uh, for Legend Carlos here, so I think he's going to start building them, but. I think these Mutas are going to be out, so we'll see if Splitter Girl sends these over. Does have them, so has four, waiting for a few more to spawn. Or maybe just one more. We will see. And sending some of these guys over. Going to try to drop inside of Day's base. Here's the Mutas. Oh, this is a great game so far. These Mutas are going to take out the cannon right here. Take out this cannon. This cannon's going to finish. But this is going to be in a good spot. Here comes the drop. Going to drop a tank in here. Here, this drop's going to get stopped. Oh, this is great stuff right here. Um, here's that tank and four Rhinies in here. Going to send some Rhines to take out these Mutas. So good job there by Game Toss. And helping out his partner a lot right there. And let's see if he's got two more dropships on the way. Got another tank that's coming out. And completely just dropping in here. And I don't know if Day is going to be ready for this. He's building a lot of pylons. So maybe he will see this. A couple scans coming down. And I think he might just go for the attack right here. Going to have to send some mutas over to help out. Here comes some more units that Game Toss is going to drop in here. This is why I like Game Toss. A lot. I like Splitter Gale. They do a lot of different things. A little micro action here from Splitter. Uh, and they... Yeah, I mean... This is a cool strategy. And the micro on point. 300 APM for Splitter. I didn't know Splitter plays that fast. And I think someone asked in my comments uh, if this is on the Europe... Uh, if this is on Europe... Um, but this is actually Western. So... These games are all played on the Western server. So you got these four tanks and might even try. Here comes the Mutas to kind of try to help out. Going to take out that tank maybe. Here's a Reaver. And that Reaver is going to blast all of those. So perfect shot there by Day. And really going to help out. Uh, Splitter really going to help out his partner. And now it's we will see what Game Toss and Carlos want to go with here. So, a couple more cannons on the side. Here is your hive. A greater spire almost done. Going to be done in about 10 minutes. I think Guardians will be out at 1045. Going to take out some of these turrets on the side. Splitter Gale going to um, maybe... Oh, there's some Valkyries here, so that's going to be huge. Going to have to micro pull in some of these on the outside. That's kind of how you, you fight against Valkyries with Mutas. You attack and then you split up your Mutas so it kind of surrounds the Valkyrie. Or Valkyries. 
And here is a robotic support bay for Day. And here's your guardians. So I think Day's going to just try to spot abuse right here. The guardians are going to come over. And then he's going to be able to drop right on in there. So that's what I think their plan is. Spurtergill saying it is laggy. Not sure who's lagging up in this game. And here comes some tanks. And let's see if any drops are getting made. Oh, uh, this Carlos guy's pretty good. I don't know who this is, but it's pretty good. Um, there's just so many different legend players. But he's going to be up against all of these guardians on the side. And this is going to be tough. Unless these Valkyries are on their way. There's no air, no, no Stargate. And a couple Devours getting made by Splitter Gal. So Splitter Gal playing this one like a boss daddy. And going to maybe try to go after the main. But here's your Valkyries and these Devours. Going to slowly, they kill Valkyries kind of slow. They're really strong though. And Valkyries absolutely obliterate Guardians. So it's going to be kind of a slow kill and almost got one of those Valkyries, but... Here is a drop from Day, so good timing, and let's see, getting Vulture speed. Here comes the attack, and we'll see if that drop comes in at the same time. A couple of gateways over here, and these should take this out. This is going to be a nice storm, probably right on these Guardians. Microing this back and forth game toss is... Look at all these devourers coming in here. Here's a droppity drop by Day. Got one Templar out. There's a second one. Gonna have to pull the probes. And he got a nice storm off. At least 30 kills. So that is going to hurt the uh, Protoss legend Carol's here. Carlos, sorry. <laughs> Your name looks like Carol. Um, and here comes a droppity drop on Day. And this is gonna be pretty wide open. Going to use these Valkyries to kind of tank this. No Templars back here to storm this drop at all. And this is going to be a huge drop by Game Toss. And going to start blasting out the Proba Dubs. Absolutely Merc Daddying that. And going to try to go after the main, I think. So really nice job there by Game Toss. Showing you that these guys are just extremely high level players. Um, two versus two players. And these Guardians are doing some work over here. I think they're just in hold position right now. Here comes a little drop. This is what I was saying. Day was going to do that. And he's going to try to go after the... Ooh, he dropped it a little bit too early. And probably going to start making Templars, I think. He should start making Templars and go with the drop. A really smart move there by Day. Here comes a couple more Valkyries. Got the tanks over here, so there won't be any attack coming out from Day. And these Guardians are doing some work. You got the Devourers to kind of help out here. The, the Dragoons are helping out as well and gonna have to micro back and forth nice move here with the scourges that's exactly what you need to counter all of these valkyries couple more valkyries on the way and yeah day at 103 supply that drop really really hurt him that tank drop really really hurt him splitter gale at 96 supply start slowly starting to build up got a defiler mount here's your templars and a couple more valkyries so i think carlos is going to be okay here I am going to put that on DND, and here is a drop. A couple more scans coming down, so there's nothing in here, though. And we'll see if there should be a drop coming from... I want to say there's got to... Here, is this it? There's got to be a drop coming from Day. I saw those... There were Templars here. I don't know if they got picked up. Maybe I missed it. Hopefully not. But a lot of robotics here. Smart move here by Day. That's kind of what you want to go with. And here comes a possible drop by Carlos here. A little bit late, but he's been getting attacked all day. And he went with more of a mass. Here is your scans. I'm going to try to get this one through. Splitter Gal already pulling. There is your storm. We'll see if they storm right here. Going to get maybe 15 or so kills, so not too much done. Here's another droppity drop. And the Templar are going to get out and not going to get the storm off. So, um, going to survive this. And Day is still recovering from that tank drop. And let's see if another tank drop is coming. Looks like it. And Goliaths as well. So, 
Huge drop. We got about five shuttles here. Six, might, if he uses that one. A couple scans coming down. And Game Toss, I'm guessing, might have upgrades already as well. Might have 1-1. One, one. Yeah, 1-1 one, one upgrades already. And here comes another huge, massive drop. Going to keep scanning. And here's a drop from Legend. Carlos going to go for there. Oh, he's going to get a nice storm off. Really good job there by Carlos. And... Yeah, now it's a matter of, can Carlos not get dropped? There's a bunch of shuttles here, so we'll see if Day is going to try to drop on Carlos. And the uh, Game Toss has not gotten dropped at all, so he's basically been able to do what he wants. And he's got these turrets on the side for drops. And now it looks like they might start attacking the Zerg, and we got this massive drop from Game Toss. So I think he's going to drop Day and try to end it. Here is a big drop from Day. And he's going to probably go with a bunch of Reavers right here. We'll see. Here's a couple Guardians on the side trying to get these in good position so they can shoot at this. Here's that drop from Game Toss. There's a couple Templars right here. So going to get some nice Storms up. But a huge, massive drop. And another Storm came down. So really good job there. But this is going to start hurting. And the, uh, the Zealots should be able to clean this out. So here comes an attack from Splitter Gale. Going to start sending out the units. No tanks on the side to take out these Hydras. No upgrades yet for um, Splitter Gale. And Splitter Gale just going to slowly start pushing out here. Valkyries taking out the Guardians. We'll see if a big drop comes here. I think Day's getting one ready. Going to start using the Swarm and pushing out. So going to lay those mines though. And I don't see an observer that's going to be able to stop that. Both Splitter Girls playing this one like a boss. Uh, I think Splitter still needs to get speed for the height. No, they do have speed, so. Um, I mean, this is a this is a really, really good game right here. And slowly push it out here. Probably going to do another swarm here and a swarm here. These tanks are going to help out for sure. We'll see if some lurkers get made from Splitter. But trying to push in and take out this choke, which will allow for... Here comes a huge drop. We'll see if this drop goes on. Might send this drop on to Game Toss. Or just going to put it in the middle. So it's going to be a huge, massive attack here. And going to use these Reavers right here. And start to go for the attack. Bunch of lurkers getting made. And this could end right here. We'll see if these Reavers start pushing into here, I think. And these Lurkers are going to do some work. This guy could have got one more uh, Swarm off. And Game Toss is even building turrets for his partner. And there's your Lurkers. Let's see, is there another Defiler? Here comes a drop right on the Zerg. Oh, it's going to get almost get sniped up by these Scourges. Is this... No, a nice pull right there. Oh, oh, it went back. Oh, huge drop right there. Double drop, and that's going to be huge. That might have switched up the whole game right there. Wow, that was huge. Double Templars right there, and Splitter even moved the drones, but here comes a huge attack from Game Toss, and he's basically maxed out, and... Legend Carlos is basically maxed out, so I don't know where all of Carlos's men are. He's got 107 probes, so needs to uh, transfer over. Nice little burrow into all these tanks. A couple of radiates coming down, and ooh, I think that didn't just happen. Now, I think Day needs to try to keep dropping on Carlos here and use a. Ooh, this is gonna be an all maybe. Gonna get a most of the probes, but. Carlos already has a ton of probes, so he should be fine. Um, but I think that Day needs to get a some Corsairs to use for his drops. And I think we might... Oh, another big, massive drop from Game Toss. And they're taking over the middle still. There's some probes out here. We'll see if another drop comes from Carlos. Carlos needs to get a few more robotics. But... Uh, He's been going mostly max. He's got 101 upgrades. Let's see. 2-2 two, two upgrades for Game Toss. 101 upgrades for Day. And these Valkyries going to take out some of these Overlords. A couple more Guardians getting made. 1-1 uh, one, one upgrades for Splitter Gale. 
And a drop getting queued up from Carlos here. And some more cannons on the side. And now it looks like they're going to go for an attack on the Zerg on Splitter Gale here. So uh, here's that massive, massive drop. And got, even has a vessel with it. So, but Splitter Gale is basically back to being normal. Here comes an attack by day. And I've seen this in the past where ooh, another drop and all. Oh, I missed it. Splitter Gale lost all of the probes. I was worried about this drop right here. And this is going to be a massive drop right here. Right onto Splitter Gale. There are some cannons back here and another. Going to drop that Templar to help out with this huge drop. And then a Radiate coming down. So Guardian's coming over. But the looks like this might go down completely. 873. Another wave of shots from the tanks. And one more wave and that's gone. So... Beautiful drop there. Got the Valkyries to take out all the Guardians. And this is not looking good for Splitter and Day. Carlos did... Yeah, there's the GG. Carlos with the drops. Did a really nice job with the drops. To I mean, actually, Game Toss actually did more drops than Carlos. Um, well, well played from all the players there. So, really, really nice play. That's why I love seeing... Um, uh, especially Game Toss and uh, Splitter Gale. I mean, I think they're top, top two. If they partnered each other and they played, uh, I, I think if they played a lot, they could definitely be the best team. But here is a game with just them two as partners. So I'm guessing this is going to be some Merc City. And I've seen J. O'Reilly before. Uh, it was kind of. Decent, above average. Speech is pretty good. And um, obviously Game Toss and Splitter are sick. So we have Splitter Gale. We got Game Toss, top middle on the Terran. You got Speech. Looks like he's going for a quick uh, Zerglings. Because his partner, Rally is Protoss. There's your forge, so going to try to box in. And Splitter Gale's on the Protoss. And looks like you're going to go with the double gateway into a pylon. Maybe build the pylon back here or something. Maybe we'll go with the third gateway. Not sure. Usually you want to go two gateways in a pylon. It's just easy. Scouting already. And going to see that J. O'Reilly is has a forge. So it's kind of safe to assume they'll be up against some type of um, uh, cannon rush. So... And Splitter Girl saying it's Protoss, Protoss, but... Um, not realizing that speech is the one that went uh, random. So here comes your Zergling's going to try to box in the Protoss here. You got two two Zellies and then going to try to box in also the Terran. So we see this a lot. Got the probes coming out here. Smart move here by Splitter. And this is completely boxed in I think. So now it's just going to be Game Toss basically having to do one verse one against these zerglings but pulling some of his scv so he should be no problem should be fine and but definitely gonna get boxed in here and we'll see i'm i'm guessing that splitter gale is gonna get a can or so a, um a couple cannons right there and take out this frontal so it's completely boxing gonna get a cannon Splitter Gale has a, pile, a probe inside of Game Toss's base, so gonna be able to help him out, get him some cannons inside his base. A little micro action from Game Toss, and let's see what Speech is gonna go with here. Oh, that first game was really, really sick. I'm still excited about that game. That was some good stuff. Looks like Splitter's gonna actually go with. Super fast attack, so probably go right into a robotic support bay right here. There it is. We'll see if Splitter gets maybe a cannon right here for his partner. No extra command center just yet for Game Toss, and I think Game Toss might not even go with an extra command center. 
He's going to go with the double factory. And I think he's just going to play this one aggressively. Um, because he knows he can just bust out of this pretty quickly. And one thing when you make these cannons in the middle, sometimes you want to try to make them a little bit further back so the, the Terran has to kind of push out with the tanks. But it makes it more vulnerable if there is just a bunch of Rhines and Medics. But two tanks will clean this out real quickly. And I think that's what Game Toss is going with here. So, um, Speech. Speech plays at a pretty high APM. It plays pretty fast. I've seen him play like 200 to 300 APM as well. And let's see. Stim on the way. We'll see if any medics are getting made. Three medics. And J.O. Rally going to go with... Going to get that D around his main already. So worried about drops. Maybe he saw that last game or something like that. Here's your cannons up here. I think Splitter could have just got a cannon here and, and then cannon here. Uh, Splitter telling his partner that the Overlord saw the robotics, so they know that they're going to be up against a drop or some type of reaver. Good timing right here with the robotics. Going to get that double reaver, I think, as soon as that 200 hits. Yeah. So, double reaver. Going to try to take this out. There's only three cannons here, so um, might even be able to push out with the reaver. So, we'll see. But here is your zealots in here gonna drop them over and then I'm guessing hydros are gonna be on the way pretty soon for speech because he's gonna have to try to stop this drop doesn't have an overlord right here so not gonna see this these reavers are gonna be close to getting done here and let's see if the siege is, is gonna be pretty close yeah so gonna be busting out pretty soon sending some guys over here interesting sneaking these around I think that's one thing I like about Splitter and Game Toss. They do some different things. Maybe or maybe just Splitter thinks that the, he's right here. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. But here is your Reaver. And maybe I'll find out later. And you're going to see those Hydras going to drop and do some Micro, I'm guessing. Going to blast those... Guys, pretty nicely. He's trying to make the cannons backwards a little bit. Look at how quick all those tanks took that out. And these Reavers are doing some work. Going to need the Lings with the Hydras to help out and take this out. Going to get some shots off. Nice little pick up. Going to pick that up. Drop it. And going to lose the shuttle. But these Reavers are going to clean that out. A couple of Zoats might have to get sent over here. And I think Splitter realized that that was an accidental error. But... Game Toss is about to start busting out. And yeah, I don't think these teams were fair. I think this one's over. We need uh, some really good competition for Splitter and Game Toss. Uh, they're just too, too good. I hope they keep playing more. Going to lose the Reavers here, but got this big attack coming here. Let's see. any No Lurkers or anything getting made, and this is going to be a nice... Big attack. Already got the triple coming. Couple cannons here, so. Yeah, this is gonna be. This is gonna be GG'd up. So. Couple Zellies right here, but they're gonna get hunted down. Maybe not. Maybe just gonna go for the attack up here. And Speech is gonna leave, realizing there's six tanks in his base. And this one is over, so. Good games right there. Hope you guys liked it. Hope the Bears win. Give it a like and a subscribe. Keep playing more games, you guys, and uh, I'll keep posting them. So, uh, talk to you guys later. Peace.